Well, we continue this odyssey. Late autumn, weather still beautiful. Another great evening again when we call back up to the Bear Bridge. Lovely food, absolutely lovely. And, oh, tremendous company, yes. As always, what you do find with experience, you find the good places on canals. You know, you can do the canals and go up and down, but you don't know the good mooring spots. For example, on the Shropshire Union, there is a shelf. But to us, it does not matter anyway, because we have solutions for that shelf. And uh, also, there are many, many places where it's not there. But you get to know that by using canals, and we've done this with many all over the country. We mark them all down, all the mooring spots, all the best places, and we've got a record then for future, for future when we, we go boating. But some people mourn about the shelf on the Shropshire, but the, the type of people who've probably done it once and shot through, you know, and uh, and probably don't understand the Shropshire Union. Those who do understand the Shropshire Union and know what it's all about will tell you it's one of the finest canals on the network without a shadow of doubt. Rural, beautiful and some really nice villages to stop at. What's not to like? Shadows and the colours in autumn are beautiful. Totally. The sun's a bit lower, you know, but uh, it's like a painting at times. If you get the weather, it's just like seeing a painting in front of you. Absolutely stunning. Just looking down at the uh, revs, and I'm just thinking how nice it is cruising at a, a lovely pace. Just on 700 revs per minute we are. That's all, that's on a modern engine. It would be fabulous if everybody decided to go like this, because that's what it's about on canals. Just taking in everything and doing it all just at a nice slow pace. It's, it's so much more enjoyable. I could go on about people boating at speed forever, and I probably have this year, but uh, just to have the 
canals all lovely and quiet now and being able to just saunter at such low speeds in beautiful weather what's not to like don't think you can even better it Still a few of the air boats are still uh, appearing as well. I just got my coffee by the way. <laughs> um, that's another good company that, not too big. Anybody right. who's up on the Shropshire Union. I know we, we recommend Cheshire Cat and the boats. And, well they are a great company they are. And the boats are immaculate. But Chaz Erden again on the Shropshire Union do another they're not too big and they do lovely boats as well it is amazing wherever you go how churches dominate the landscape they're just everywhere small villages towns cities you just see them dominating the landscape and they're always ornate and truly immaculate You'd never get buildings like that built anymore. Definitely wouldn't. Nice cup of coffee that was, by the way. Yes. <laughs> Days like this you don't want to end. Oh do you? no, no, no. No, I could uh, I could cruise like this forever. get a mooring at the top end today. Normally we have to round the corner. So we will. Which way we're coming, doesn't it? Yes. We're coming that way. Yeah. We'll you're never sure what's around or what's not round the corner. So we've got moorings at the top end this time. These are normally the first ones to go. But, uh, yep, we'll uh, be mooring up here in a few seconds.
Well, the glorious weather continues. I think again, it's going to be in the high teens, which is very hot for uh, this time of the year in the UK. Um, we have seen the weather forecast for about a week's time and we're going to be a good, you know, it's got to be down to six degrees or so then, so that's a big drop. But for now, we'll uh, enjoy just, it. Yeah, we will enjoy it and uh, take it all in. And uh, we'll continue from our moorings at Nantwich. It is just absolutely beautiful. Sublime. It certainly is. thing is now where we are as well this canal now is one of, well it is from Nantwich now to uh, Otherly Junction this is the very last major canal ever built and we're on it now um, up to Nantwich you could have wide beam boats coming up from Ellesmere Port but when they did this section um, they, uh, it went to narrow, narrow gauge dimensions then because that was also saves money as well because uh, it's a lot cheaper to make uh, narrow locks and wide beam ones uh, but this part is the last of them very historic this stretch uh, besides being very scenic and uh, we're so pleased that we're here on this you know as our own as our own cruising stretch, we're just pleased to be here. Is that railway still in use? That line, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think this is the one that's going to be. I think it's having work done on railway bridge over winter. I think it's this one. Another floor, you know. 89, 89, I think. <laughs> I wondered what was happening there for a minute. Thought it was coming down. 
this pound has got extremely shallow meaning we can't get anywhere near the side so uh, I just have to hang about in the middle just approaching at green locks on this gorgeous autumn day I just don't want it to end absolutely stunning it's warm and it's still it's a bit of cloud but hey ho don't mind that locks done our friends coming behind us but they're only going to the bottom of the locks and then they're going to turn at the winding hole they've only got a couple of days so I'm just going to go back to the stern now and chat with Keith bye We'll be uh, getting back to our uh, some of our favourite moorings at Cool Pilot on the Shroppy. I'll have a couple of days here and let the world go by or not. But uh, yeah, we do like this little spot for uh, relaxing stops. Not too far from the marina, but uh, you still feel like you're miles away from anywhere. It's a wonderful little. Uh, mooring spot cool pilot certainly is thanks to the Shropshire Union Canal Society yeah the Shropshire Union Canal Society has done a great job and we continue to support them we certainly do well we had a couple of splendid nights at cool pilot lovely moorings like we've said but we've brought the boat back to the marina now the autumn cruising well and truly finished We've really enjoyed it and we hope you continue to support us in the way you have this season and uh, we'll be coming back with some brand new adventures in 2019 and we cannot wait. But for now, that's it. A lovely time had by me and Bernadette and we can't wait for the next the next one's to start. Tara. Mm -hmm.